Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, I'm pretty sure this was requested on my Instagram, but it was quite a while ago, so I don't remember, but I think it was a reply to one of my polls or something like that. And the person asked me to talk about how to manage your time. And this is something, oh my God, this is something that I have had to really build and build and build over time so, so much in my own business because it's something that's like the foundation of creating any kind of business, no matter what field it is that you're in. I used to feel like I was unproductive and lazy and all of these things. And now when I look at how much I do, it's like complete 360. So, but I also wanna say, it's not about cramming in as much as you can do as possible because I've been there and done that as well. It's actually about working smart, not working hard because you don't wanna burn yourself out and then end up ill for a week and having to take a full week off. So how to manage your time, I feel like it's best to manage it in a way where you can be as productive as possible without burning out, without exhausting yourself and everything like that, but still being able to get things done. So for me, what I have done, and this takes time, it's not something that you can just like flick a switch and master it all. I have now built myself systems to where it's like an automatic thing of doing something. So let me just like break this down. For example, when it comes to my social media content, at one point I was posting, I think I, I did add it up, I think it was like 160 times a week on all of my social media, which is absolute insanity. Like, I don't know how I managed to do that on my own, plus make music, plus have a jewelry brand, plus um, film these videos and edit them and everything. Like, I don't know how I did it. It's proper psycho behavior and fully burning yourself out. I did burn myself out. So I don't recommend that to everyone. But in doing that, I feel like trial and error, I figured out my flow and I figured out how to create a system for myself so that I can be consistent, but also find a consistency that doesn't exhaust me, you know? So for me, I like to do things drastic. So I'll go from one end where I barely post anything and then I went the full other end of just non-stop posting, which is just ridiculous. And then throughout that like process, I then figured out how consistent I can keep up with. Cause I feel like when it comes to managing your time, like it needs to be something that you can physically do. If you're over filling it with so many tasks, you just can't function. And you're not gonna have any time like to take a five minute break, you know, like life happens. Sometimes an event comes up or something happens where you need to actually leave and go do something else. Or like, what about if you need to go pee? Or if you wanna go and have a snack? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you cram too much in, then when these everyday life things happen, you're not gonna have any time to fit it in because you've literally slotted your whole day out for just everything in life. So I think it's really important to actually be healthy with it and break it down into your priorities. So I would really break it down to the top priorities, the things that absolutely need to get done, and then like work your way down that list of the priority order, like list everything out that you need to get done, and then prioritize how urgent each thing is. And for me, the systems work because there's certain things that I need to do every week. So I now have set days for those specific tasks. And then within those specific tasks, I have the order of how I do them and the way that I do them and stuff. So that repeats every week. Because I think, for me, having that kind of routine is a game changer. Like, it allows me to be disciplined, it allows me to be consistent, because I know where I'm at and I'm not all over the place, you know? And especially when you're running your own business, you've got to manage a million and one things at once, so you need to have these systems. And for me, there's no one else to hold me accountable. Like, I'm doing all of this myself, and it's my own business, and nobody else is involved in it, so... I have to hold myself accountable. I have to have these systems to force me to do it and to inspire me to do it because without them, I'll be so scattered and not know what to start with, you know, because there's just so many things. I'd be so overwhelmed. I wouldn't know 
which task to start with and when to do it or anything like that. So now I have set days every week, every week for my music, to make music. Then I have set days every week to make jewellery. I have set days every week to film. And for filming, I alternate it so it's every other week. But, like, it's a set day that I know I'm going to film on that day and then I stick to it. And if I have to switch days around for whatever reason, like if a family emergency comes up or something, then that's fine, I'll switch the days around. But just knowing that there will be a set day for each thing and then a set like amount of time for each thing is a game changer because now I know that I have that slot and I don't need to worry about it now. Like I don't need to worry about when I'm gonna film, how I'm gonna get it all done, how I'm gonna edit the videos because I know, oh, Thursday I'm gonna film that's my day. So now every other week on a Thursday, that's my day I'm going to film my YouTube videos. So now on the other days, I don't need to worry about the filming. I don't need to worry about the editing or anything to do with filming because it has its own allocated day for it, you know? So I just think it's important to to know exactly what it is that you need to do, to prioritise the order and then to work out whether you're going to need to have like a consistent schedule with it like is it going to be every week is it going to be multiple days a week is it going to be a few hours a week just knowing the consistency of what you ideally want but also what you can physically manage without killing yourself trying to do it all and then you can literally pull up a calendar i write mine out in my journal i like make my own calendar in my journal and just list out the days and prioritize which day is going to be for what and really write it all down and break it all down in as much detail as you need. But also I wanna say it's important to understand yourself because what works best for me is not necessarily gonna work for you. So I may be okay with doing five or six or seven days a week of working because I love it and it doesn't feel like work. But for you, you may work a normal job that you like or don't like or whatever the case may be and you're doing five days so maybe you'll be scheduling over five days or maybe you're running your own business and you want to keep it to five days or four days or maybe it's a side hustle and so you need to fit it around your other scheduling you know whatever it may be you need to work out what will actually benefit you and what allows you to be productive like time scale wise and day wise of where you can fit things in without burning yourself out and then write it all down make a calendar make a schedule because calendars are a game changer i've also used google calendar before as well and i'm currently using a calendar for my social media posts because i just like to know what's being posted when otherwise i get lost so just having um having it written down having it in some kind of calendar whether that's a digital one or a physical whatever works best for you and go easy on yourself while you try to get consistent with this because it took me a long time it took me a few years to find my flow and really be able to stick with it so it's not something that you're just gonna like flick a switch and figure it all out you know there's gonna be trial and error there's gonna be days where you're like okay I've tried this and it's not working I need to move this day around because I can't physically focus or I can't get it done and you just need to adjust and allow yourself the space to not be perfect and to move things around as you need and as you learn more about how you work and what you like but yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me, links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my jewelry brand, one-to-one -one sessions and everything else. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, but you cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white